Right boys, welcome back to another video and welcome to another episode of the Journey Career Mode. We are in January, the January transfer window with Perth Glory. Um, halfway through the season, probably a wee bit more than half. Actually this season, it looks as though it finishes in April. But then again, I'm not sure if the league like splits. Um, I think there's some sort of playoffs that could maybe start in and around here and roll on into May. I don't know how many games that'll be. Maybe 6 or 12. I don't know. But today's episode, we have Sydney, we have MacArthur, and we have Adelaide. And we need to play MacArthur this time. Last time we played them, I quick simmed them. It was early on in the season. It was like the first or second game, and I was like, MacArthur don't sound great I'm just gonna quick sum them and they beat me <laughs> um, and they're still up there they're second in the league now we have a chance to go six points clear if we win our next game um, our game in hand which is against Sydney who are fifth so we're gonna watch the sim for that one and then we'll play MacArthur try and increase that gap even more and then Adelaide they are they're down in ninth like we should be able to quick sim that one easy enough so hopefully the boys are fit for this game they are which you do love to see lads so simming this first game of the episode against sydney to kick things off lads but lads let's have a look at the career challenges eco needs one more hat trick to complete the hat trick hero challenge hopefully he's gonna give it done between now and the end of the season um they still got it long time ago that was done easy dubs for that one and out of the shadows wilson he's slowing down a wee bit he's slowing down a wee bit so hopefully he can get up and running again and um, he's on seven out of 15 at the minute Hopefully, he can get those final few goal contributions to complete his challenge. So, hopefully, it can be another good simulation performance. And that would be nice, because we've been doing well in Sims lately. We really have. Um, I've never seen a team do so well in simulations. Has Jago tried to get through there again though? Starting really well early on. We seem to do this a lot. You know, just you know, I keep talking about the Barrow career, even Leicester, whenever I went into simulations like this, weren't that great. But four in a row like, puts us one nil up. Come on! What a beast! I suppose what I tell you is these lads in simulations are unbelievable. They're different level. They are different level. And it's great to see. Hopefully, play them through again. Oh, four in a row, like it's 2 0. 2 0 after 20 minutes. This is unreal. The boys just have that quality in simulations you love to see it a third would be amazing he go but oh, i should have went inside should have went back inside the space was there maybe i should have jumped in and took that chance i don't know because now sydney have got one back bobo there was no need for that to happen lads there really wasn't it has been a good start though. I feel like that was a bit against the run of play. Eco. Oh! Castro with two chances. Oh, unable to put the ball in the back of the net either time. He's getting quite tired. Um, he'll probably have to get subbed off at some point for an Edelev. Look, like, look at the brilliant football. Four in a row, like. I was gonna say you've got <clears throat> you've got that mate, but not quite. But again, 
first half, really good. I'm gonna give Castro another couple of minutes. Um, maybe another five or ten. I know he's quite tired. Hopefully the lads just hold on to this. You know. Um, in fact, I'm going to make the sub now for the next time the ball goes out. Nedelev, who's up to 67, is going to come on. Bit of fresh legs. Keep the tempo good. But they're getting a lot of the ball in this second half, which I'm not liking. We were dominating first half. Second half... They've just been getting all the possession, which I don't want to see. That's just a poor pass. Really poor pass. Come on, don't let them, don't let them equalise. Right, we have to jump in now. Brilliant. Lads, we were in control. The pain. Into Nedelev. Jago. Eco. Wilson. In behind. Oh, he's offside. Oh, he's offside. Nedelev. I put him on. Come on. Whip that across. For the Rooley! Come on! For the Rooley! With a hat trick, actually. He is brilliant! The man with the mohawk gets the goal. Man on a mission, man with the mohawk. Bruno Fornaroli. Nice cross from Amon. Finally, he does a wee bit more. And Fornaroli, 15 goals this season, and we're only in January. Absolute quality. 3 2 up. Let's hold on to this one, lads. Oh, lads, what have you done? What have you done? <sighs> Why do we keep conceding late goals? What was that defending? <sighs> you had the ball. And then, look at this. You stepped through him. You went right across him. What is going on there? Come on. One more chance. Wilson. Why is there no one in this box? Where's all my teammates? Oh, Lance. That was so stupid. Another game where we're 2 0 up. We threw it away, 3-2 up, and we threw it away again. What is that centre-back doing like? He literally stepped right across him and didn't even take the ball. That is so stupid. Such a stupid way to drop points. It's so unnecessary, like. You probably have other things on your mind. Yeah, I do. Um... So, I mean, he's still our player, isn't he? But I'm not. I don't... Like... I don't care. Fornaroli signed a new deal. What are you on about? All these guys, they signed... Velafi, I didn't offer a new deal. Right? I didn't offer him a new deal. Um... What do you say? Financials. Six months. Velafi didn't offer him a new deal because we tried to sell him. Same with Steins. Castro's retiring. Timmons we don't want. Sullivan we don't want. Reddy is retiring. Ford and Rowley have signed a new deal. So I don't know what you're on, game. I don't know what you're on. Zetch. Yeah, I'm proud of you. What's Castro saying? Oh, he's complaining about being subbed off. Need you to stay fit, mate. You're about 49 years old. And also, whenever I subbed you off, it was what? 2-2? Two, 3-2? Two, two? You know. So, 
we should have won that game. I think it was Langkamp actually, the centre back. That was his fault. That was his fault. Velafi. Yes. Look, I don't want Velafi, right? They've talked about doing a swap deal for him. How much is he worth? Is he even worth anything? 70k. 70k this man's worth. We actually have some money. Where the frig has this come from? Where has that come from? So hang on. Could we get anyone here? Um, to be fair, there's no one we really want. But maybe that's something we should look into. Is there any players we really want? I still feel we could do with a right winger, lads. Wilson's a great guy, but I'm not sold on him as a permanent solution. You know, seven goal contributions this season. Um, look, we've learned from our mistakes from last time. The mistake being that I quick simmed it against MacArthur. That won't happen this time. We won't underestimate them. This time, I'm going to go in. I'm going to play it myself. They're second in the table. Um, we're four points clear. So there's still a fair gap there. And there can still be a decent gap. As long as we get the win here today. So yeah. Let's go and do it boys. So MacArthur. It's time for revenge lads. No mistakes this time. Um, we're not quick summon it. And please don't take control and then bottle it right at the end. None of that this time, lads. We need to focus and we need to create a gap at the top of the table. Here's Alho getting himself forward. Don't often see too much of that, but he's put in a good ball. And Fornaroli <clears throat> actually does win the header, but puts it over the bar. And we're playing in them tiny nets the smaller nets that i don't like i prefer the big rectangular ones to be honest castro fornaroli amon play it across eco oh not it's just gone wide as well it's been a good start just haven't found the back of the net yet amon fornaroli the jago and back to fornaroli Castro, Fornaroli through again, Fornaroli, I could see that block coming from a mile away, defender was just too close to me, that's a good corner though, felt he could have won that, Lang Camp. we do get another corner, and again, Lang Camp surely could have won that, Eko to Zetch, Eco whipping out the skills. I can only get so far though. Here's MacArthur getting in. Oh, that's a good save from Bergetti. I, th I thought we were going to concede there. Dangerous position. Let's get this one cleared, lads. And we do. They're back inside our box again. I don't like this. I don't like this. He's turned line camp. Big defensive block from him though. MacArthur have turned up the heat for sure. It's another MacArthur corner. Come on lads, just get this out. Once and for all. There we go, Fornaroli. To Castro. And Jago, out to Wilson. Here we go boys. Wilson, support has kind of went back. And Wilson hits the post. So unfortunate. Is the ref going to give us an all chance? He was going to, but we messed it up. Tight first half. We started better. MacArthur really got into it, though. Big chance at the end for us. And uh, the game is wide open, lads. Wide open, Alho, out to Wilson. 
He still got it. He takes on the defender, whips it in. Oh, it went all the way through as well. Thought the McArthur keeper might have came for it. He didn't. He goes. Wilson is onside. Plays at the cross. And four and only. With the goal. Come on. Had to work hard for that. Wilson's actually been very good, very involved down that right hand side in this game. That keeper does not want to come for balls that are going right across his goal. He doesn't want to come for them, he's stuck. He's glued to the goal line. And Bruno Fornaroli puts us 1-0 up. That is a big, big goal to get away to MacArthur here. Castro into Fornaroli. Oh, what kind of pullback was that? Castro picks it up. Keeper able to catch it though. Wilson. Alho. Back into Wilson. Who's done well. Castro. I'm on. That's just not a great shot from him. Oh my word, they've hit the crossbar. Let's get it cleared. How many times? <sighs> Clear the ball. They hit the crossbar with a free kick. And then like, <sighs> what kind of header is that? Freaking get it out. <sighs> I need to make subs now for the last few minutes. Um, Castro off. D'Agostino off. Um, Eco, it look, it hasn't been your day, and when it's not your day, it's not your day. Coke comes on. Another silly goal to concede, pretty late in the game. Jago into Coke. Through Fornaroli, Fornaroli, <sighs> blocked. Whipping it in. Go get up for that! Oh, he has! Andy Kuke! Finally! Finally! We get a late goal in the game. It's about time. Instead of conceding all the time, dropping points. Andy Kuke! Come on, man! Keeper just stand still. Off the bench, he does it again, this man. 2-1 up. Now please, please, don't throw this one away. Kyoke, and chase it down, just keep them back here, lads. There it is. Referee blows his whistle. That is a huge, huge three points away on the road. To MacArthur, who are against MacArthur, who could be and look looking like they're gonna be the main title challengers. That was a big gap to open up at the top of the table. More late drama, but for once it goes for us this time. Come on, and lads, it is finally time. We've been looking to do this. Since we started this career, Eko is now a striker. And let's try and give him that five star weak foot while he's up there as well. <sighs> big position change that. After a big win, six points clear. MacArthur dropped a third. <sighs> Castro again. Uh, what is he saying? Look, we're working on it, mate. We don't know whether we're going to sign anybody or not, right? I don't know what the crack is. But here we have an issue. Tired players. Um, Nedelev is going to come in. He's going to come in. 
I mean, D'Agostino can come in and basically do the same job in terms of rating. I'm gonna run with that a wee bit. Um, who do I give captain to here? Four in a row, I think I'm gonna run with that. And we'll see. Hopefully it's going to be good enough. We have another game in two days. Bafford playing for Adelaide. We have to quick send this. Don't have too much hope with a side I've had to put out. But here. It's a 1-1 draw. Eco with the goal. And that's not too bad. That could have been worse. MacArthur back to winning ways with a 3-0 win. Over Newcastle Jets. Who I think is our next game. <clears throat> yeah, they are. They're our next game. So, we have got an offer for Riley Warland, a loan offer. Um, I'm going to change that to a short loan. Not that it'll, well, not that it'll matter too much actually because he'll come back and we'll be gone. We're still five points clear at the top of the leg, which is good. Youth Academy player, big growth on the man. Um, so let's get the weak foot up there. Um, is there another one? No, I thought there maybe was. It is Newcastle Jets though. As the next game. Warland's loan agreement. Which is great. He can go on loan to Newcastle Jets. Um, so we'll be waiting on that to go through. The team. Yeah, not ideal. So we're going to have to rotate the team. In the next episode, lads, we have... Really? What's someone going to want in this league? Even 5k is probably too much, but you could say we have 300k in the transfer budget. Do we sign anyone? And if so, who? What position do we need? Looking at the two teams, what do you think we need? In terms of, you know, is it a backup keeper? Maybe... A striker, although Keogh off the bench, he's doing the job. And in terms of backup keepers, backup fullbacks, Ingham, they're not playing. They're not playing enough. It's all Nedelev, Dagostino, Keogh, Kilkenny sometimes. The rest of these guys, they aren't playing. So if there's anybody you think we should sign with that money, let me know in the comments below, lads. But that is it for today's episode of the Journey Career Mode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.